Hello everybody and welcome to the Classic Motor Show 2023. Let's join the impclub.co.uk for an affordable classic. Well this is good, the Hillman Imp guys are uh, certainly putting on a show. Hillman Imp of course manufactured in Linwood. So there we go, there's the uh, Hillman Husky. And the singer Shamwa, am I pronouncing that correctly? And the Sunbeam Imp Sport looks good. Another one over the back. There are four variations on stand. Just outside Glasgow, you either worked at Clyde Bank and the Singer Factory on the shipping, or you might have worked at Linwood as well. The Hillman Imp, 1963 to 2023, celebrating 60 years. Well, if you've not seen the Hillman Imp for a few years, this is where they go to live forever. We've got the, uh, the Hillman Imp Sport there. And in the centre you've got the chamois and there's the Hillman Imp Husky and the Californian as well. This is where they go to live forever. The workforce was approximately 6,000 at the Roots Car Plant and Press Steel Company. These are as real a car as you'll get the Hillman Imp. Beautiful interior as well. The Hillman Imp has a racing heritage with the Rally Imp of 1964, many modifications and a 998cc engine. This is the Sunbeam Sport, owned by the current owner from February 2004. It was fully restored in February 2004 to November 2006. Full suspension and brake rebuild, repairs to inner and outer wheel arches, wings and front screen pillar, replacement steel bonnet, New headliner and carpets, recovered door panels and repainted from the original metallic green to rover flame red. Coming up shortly we will look at the Hillman Imp Husky, the estate version of the Hillman Imp. This is the Californian, discovered in a ditch in Leicester where for 20 years it had been waiting to be restored by its current owner at that time. After much discussion and an exchange of cash, the Californian headed to its new home on the south coast. Stripped down, shot blasted, new floors, sills, rear quarters and arches, a splash of paint and it all began to take shape. After a lot of Hillman Imp expertise, the 1967 car finally took to the road in May 2022, boasting a 1,012cc engine. Thanks for joining us on Stand with the Hillman Imps. If you look at these three models, the wing mirrors are in all different places. And way back in the day, the Hillman Imp also had a convertible as well. This really is an affordable classic. It's possible to pick up a Hillman Imp for under £10,000. But as you hear from the story behind these two that we've looked at, you'll need deeper pockets to get them looking as good as the ones here on Stand. Some say this was the first hatchback because the Hillman Imp was released from 1963 to 1976. There you go, flying the flag for the, uh, the north, way up north. In fact, you're in Scotland. These are real cars. Here's the Hillman Imp Caledonian. This has got four gears and it's got a choke. Do you remember what a choke did? The Hillman Imp makes you smile. Don't forget, it's from the same stable as the Hillman Minx, the Hillman Avenger, which were part of the British Roots Group. We are just a couple of minutes away from having a visit with Floyd and a look at that winning interior. Yep, that is good, the Hillman Imp Husky. So, let's have a look at Floyd then from 1968. This is a car called Floyd because Floyd is named after Pink Floyd with two Fs bearing in mind a nod to its home in Wales. Floyd was acquired in 2001 from a careful elderly lady owner prior to its current owner. In reasonable condition, not in an original limp car, but a Ford Navy. In 2003, the car was resprayed a hot pink with matching upholstery to match. The Hillman Imp, well this it feels like home actually because, well it is, just along the road from me, uh, manufactured in Linwood, but we are going to have a special treat, something you don't get these days, a door handle with a button. So 
Wish me luck. Oh, that's so satisfying. You do, you just don't get that nowadays. So let's have a wee look inside. This is the award-winning interior, by the way, voted for the Hillman members that were there on the day in 2023 at Perth Racecourse. So, taking the honours, hence the glassware in the back of the car. There's a nice to see as well. Check that speedometer. Yeah, rectangular, not circular. Nice one. Oh, wind your own windows as well. Doesn't get any better. And what you'll find with the Husky is that's actually in use every day. So Hillman Imp celebrating their fifth, 60th anniversary, 20, 23, and way back in 1963. That's when your production commenced. Well, just along the road from Maiden, in Scotland from Girders, uh, you've got the Hillman Imp guys from Linwood just on the west side of Glasgow. Floyd's repairs continued. 2008, Floyd had a bare metal rebuild, and by 2021, the original engine had done 108,000 miles. It was laid to rest and a new one installed. However, the gearbox, the only section not replaced, failed almost immediately. In 2023, Compton Coachworks, that's right, Compton Coachworks completely restored the car to the way you see it today, with a full back-to-metal bare respray in gorgeous magenta, topped with seven layers of iridescent chameleon lacquer. So, cutting it short, we're out of time. Toot toot, beep beep, see ya.